What's up guys, I'm here with my empties video for the month of December. I have a lot of empties here, a whole bunch. I didn't realize till I started putting more empties at the end of the month, and the beginning of the month, how many I actually had. This is actually up into, it's all December and then the very first week, today's December, or January, today's January 8th. So this was all December and then the very first week of January through the January 8th. I just finished my last one last night and I just decided to include those in here as well. So it's about a month and a, a month and a week worth of empties here. But I burned a lot and melted a lot, so we gotta get started here. I have my Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. It's the new Toffee Nut iced coffee. Really good. So I'm gonna have to sip on that because I'll be talking a lot. So let's get started because we have a lot to go through. So let's see, first up we have White Barn Peppermint Rosemary. This one was so good. I really like this one a lot. It's just peppermint and then uh, rosemary and it's got eucalyptus too. I get more, actually more of the eucalyptus than I get of the rosemary. And the peppermint is like, a, it's, it's not like potent like twist of peppermint is. It's more a little subtle because of that eucalyptus in there. But then eucalyptus is a really strong note as well. I think the eucalyptus and the pepper balance each other out, so neither one of them are too strong. And it's just got a little ever so hit of rosemary in there. But mostly I think you get the peppermint and the eucalyptus. It's really good. I really like that. I definitely would repurchase it again. Hopefully they bring it out next year. And uh, the burn is really good on this one as well. I have no problem with that one. Next we have Let's Get Baked. This was sent to us from a subscriber. We so thank you so much for all of you all that send us candles and wax moss and everything we appreciate it this is <clears throat> uh one that came out i think it came out right before christmas i believe um right around the time the dear santa candles and all that stuff and unicorn and all that stuff candles came out this kind of came out i think right around there right after that sometime like that this one i like this one it was really good it was very similar to creamy nutmeg it definitely had like a nutmeggy cinnamon almond kind of a, a scent what's it say it says yeah nutmeg cinnamon almond vanilla that's what it was it was similar to creamy nutmeg just slightly different but a little more almondy maybe i don't know but it was good and actually because of all those nutmeg cinnamon vanilla and almond type of scents it kind of had a, a bakery feel to it but not necessarily like a cookie bakery but just like a all those kind of spices and things that are in bakery scents that's kind of what it reminded me of it was really good though and mine uh threw really well i'd probably say the throw was probably about like a seven seven and a half out of ten on the peppermint rosemary probably threw about it was like a nine out of ten it was really good next we have frankincense from the essentials collection this one i like the scent of this one it's just a nice oh it smells really good you definitely get that frankincense and like clove in there. Mm, it smells so good, but it was really light though. I was so disappointed with this one. I couldn't smell it very well. I just, I kept thinking maybe it would kick in for me and then I would start smelling it, but it never, it was pretty light. I just, I got hardly anything out of this. I'd say on average, the throw was probably about, ew, this one, a three to a four out of 10. There was a few times that kind of kicked in a little bit, but most of the time I just, I didn't get much of anything from this that it was really, really light. God, I love it though. I really wish it would through better. I don't know if I just got a bad candle or what, but mine, it was really light. So love the scent. I was disappointed with the throw though. Next we have Frozen Lake. And this one, this one was nice. It's just icy uh, juniper, eucalyptus, lavender type of mixed together. It Frozen Lake has kind of an iciness to it because of those lavender and juniper, eucalyptus. It has kind of icy cool feel to it. Um, it was really good. I liked it. And the throw was probably about like a mm, 7 out of 10. Next we have Winter Glow from Yankee Candle. This one I had in my on my coffee table and my big hurricane that I got home goods. It looked really good in there because it was white wax and it just kind of matched the decor and everything or our, our living room that we redid it, that we redid. It was really pretty when it burned. This scent is just really nice. This one has, it's kind of a ambery eucalyptus lavender, cool, kind of a fresh 
kind of a somewhat icy kind of a scent. There's a little bit of a spruce in there, just a little bit, but mostly kind of like that amber, cool lavender eucalyptus, a little bit on the similar to the frozen lake, kind of, um, in that kind of a vein. I do like the scent, but pretty light. I barely, I barely got anything out of this. When I was had it lit there, I think if I, if I hovered over it, I could smell it. Other than that, I didn't really smell much at all. I liked the scent, just wasn't, didn't throw very well. But the burn was really good, perfect burn. It, I had hardly any soot. I barely had to trim these, but this is a two-wick tumbler, but it's the white wax, so it's in the paraffin wax, and these burn really good with the paraffin wax. They don't get real sooty at all. Flames are nice and high the whole time. Burn was amazing. I so, so wish they would make all their two-wick tumblers and paraffin wax again, because the burn is so much better on the paraffin wax ones, and they tend to throw a little bit, tend to throw a little bit better, even though this one Maybe if I would have put it into the small, a smaller room, it might have been better, but it looked really pretty out here in my living room, so I, I kept it out here. Next, we have Kringle Fresh, or Balsam Fur from Kringle. And this was sent to us from Deborah. I try to write on the bottom of our candles who sends these candles to me. Some of them I forget to, though, so I'm sorry if I forget your name on if people send me candles because so many different people send candles and wax molds, I just forget sometimes who sends us what, unless they send us, if they send me things multiple times, <laughs> I'll remember. But if you send me something once, I'll tend to forget. I just forget unless I write the name on the bottom who sent me what, because I'm so bad with names, so bad. But this was from Deborah, So I remember she sent me this and she also sent me, I think, Pumpkin Fireside. But yeah, this one was really good. Just a really nice, balsam for pretty much what it is evergreen balsam christmas tree just totally and it threw really good um uh for a kringle i've had i've had off and on luck with kringle iffy luck with throws on kringle some of them have been good some of them not good but this one was really good um i say like an eight out of ten on the throw i had it in the bathroom i really like that one next we have dear santa i blame the eggnog this is one that I really tried to find after they had it on sale for, I think they put it out right around, um, oh, Black Friday. And then I didn't get it because I thought I'd wait to Candle Day, but then Candle Day, they were gone like that and I didn't get a chance to get any of them. They weren't online, they didn't have them in stores, but at my store, put my name down in case they got any in and they called me and they had two in that I don't know if they were returns or exchanges or what, but they had two in, I went in, and I got two of the eggnog candles, so I finally got them. I never saw them in the store after that, so I got lucky that I got these two that I got. This one, it was good, I enjoyed it. it I do get hints of eggnog. It definitely has like eggnog. When I, on cold, I really got that eggnog, and then I got a little bit of different stuff mixed in with it. When I'm burning, I did get hints of the eggnog, but not quite as much as it was when on cold. But And then I got kind of like a, uh, nutmeggy cream. It kind of was like eggnog and then creamy nutmeg as well. Kind of like the Let's Get Baked had that little creamy nutmeg. I got creamy nutmeg in here, but I also got cookie too. Um, kind of like Mary cookie. It had the butteriness of like Mary cookie mixed with like creamy nutmeg. And Southern Comfort on her review in her empties video of this, she's I exactly feel the same way she did. I did get hints of that eggnog, but then she also said she, it reminded her of Mary Cookie a little bit, and it does. It has a little bit of Mary Cookie in there, and then mixed with like creamy nutmeg as well, and then which is a little hint of eggnog every once in a while. But I really liked it. It was really good. I smelled it really good. Um, threw pretty well. I'd probably say about seven and a half out of ten. And the burn on this one did pretty good for the most part. I think it got, might got a little peeny towards the end, but not too bad. So yeah, I, I enjoy this one. I don't know if it was 100% spot on like eggnog for the majority of the time, but I did get hints of eggnog in there mixed in with that creamy nutmeg, Mary Cookie kind of scent. Let's see, next we have Evergreen from White Barn. This is in the Marble Lid Collection. And the silver jar, really pretty. This one just basically is just evergreen. It's plain and simple, just evergreen Christmas tree type of scent. I had this burning in the living room, well, in the kitchen, open concept area. Did really well, burned really good. No problems with the burn, threw really nice. Um, about a seven, seven and a half out of 10. Next we have Peppermint from the Essentials Collection. 
I really like this one too, it was really good. It's very similar to Twisted Peppermint. It's almost exactly like Twisted Peppermint. Just real strong. <sighs> Clear your sinuses. Menthol-y peppermint. But this one is a little bit, has this one I think the difference from, I would say from Twisted Peppermint and this one, Twisted Peppermint had a little bit more of that like menthol-y medicinal peppermint. And this one had, almost had a little more of a vanilla with this one. And I think, is that in the, yes, it says peppermint and creamy vanilla. I get a little more vanilla on this than I do in Twisted Peppermint. So it wasn't quite as medicinal as Twisted Peppermint is, but it was just as strong as Twisted Peppermint was and so good. Mm, I really like this one. So I think if this came out again, I would get this one. I I wanna say almost like this a little bit better than Twisted Peppermint maybe. I don't know, it was, it was close. It was really good. And Twisted Peppermint is one of my favorite peppermint scents. Next we have White Barn Smoked Birch. This is another one from the Marble Lid Collection. This one has like a darker, kind of a dark gray colored jar. I liked this one too. This lid on this smoked birch was really hard to get off. This is just a really good mm, smoke. It's, it's smoky and it's got that birch scent. And then it's got like kind of like an incense-y, a uh, little bit of cedar and incense, but then that smokiness. It's got like, it, it had hints of marshmallow fireside because of that smokiness, but it wasn't creamy or marshmallow or anything. It was, it was more like a birchy, smoky, marshmallow, smoky marshmallow fireside of the smokiness of that. And then like I said with that cedar and incense, just really good. I really, really like that one. And uh, the throw, throw on that one is about, it started out really strong, like an eight out of 10, and then it kind of got a little bit lighter, maybe like seven or so towards the last part of it. Seven out of 10. Next we have Kringle's Coconut Snowflake. I also had this one in the living room in my Marshall's Hurricane because it looked really nice as well with the white wax. This one took forever to finish. It took me most of December. I think I had the uh, winter glow in there for the first part of December and then it finished fairly quick. I mean, not super quick, but but this one here just took a long, long time. I mean, it was well into the first part of January before I finished this one. Of course, it's bigger. It's got two wicks too. It had a, excuse me, a little bit of soot on this one, but uh, it burned really good too. I had no problems with the burn. It got, like I said, a little slightly sooty, but uh, it pulled out completely well. And then this one is just, it's a kind of a vanilla with like a, it does have a little bit of coconut. It has a kind of a vanilla cookie kind of smell, smell with coconut, a little hint of coconut, but I couldn't smell it. I could barely smell this one at all. This, this one, I really got nothing out of this. I mean, even when I hovered over this one, it was really light. So it looked pretty though, and it burned nice, but I just couldn't smell really anything from this. Like I said, I, maybe if I would have moved it to a smaller room as well, but like I said, it was out here in my hurricane and I really wanted to keep it out here because it looked really good. It went really well with the decor, so I just kept it out here. But yeah, the throw. Didn't get much of that throw-wise at all. Next we have, um, the last three are from the Sweet Shop collection that came out from Bath & Body Works. Uh, for semi-annual sale. These are probably still in stores, but I know a lot of them have been selling out, so I'm not sure. You might check, go fast if you want to get any of these before they completely sell out. I did reviews on all of these, so I'm just going to go over real quick of what I said in my review. Lavender Marshmallow, this one was really good. I love this one. I was really impressed with this one. This one was, I like this way more than what I thought it was going to. It's very similar to Paris Lavender Macaron, but I think that one had a little bit more of a cookie note. This one Definitely was uh, lavender with a kind of a marsh vanilla, creamy marshmallow, but it wasn't as much of a cookie scent as Paris Lavender Macaron had, but it did have somewhat of a bakery note to it. Really nice, really threw really well. I was really happy with that. Next we have Honey Cinnamon Crumb Cake. This one, I liked it, but I got walnuts. As I said in my review, I'm the only one that seems to think that I've heard thinks it smells like walnuts but I thought it smelled like walnuts and it had like a bakeriness to it. I didn't get any kind of cinnamon. I didn't think it smelled like cinnamon sugar donut at all, like some people have said, but I enjoyed it. It was pretty good. Um, burned good till the halfway point and then I got peanut butter syndrome and didn't burn so well after that. Then we have raspberry peach macaron. This is one of my favorites. This one did really good the first half. It's just so good, just a nice creamy, creamy peach, creamy raspberry. Uh, 
creamy almond, almond cream, and then it has like a bakery. I almost did get like a uh, macaron cookie kind of a note in there. Kind of like how Paris Lavender Macaron had that cookie note. This had raspberry peach macaron. It had the same kind of cookie macaron note that La Paris Lavender Macaron had. But then this one, instead of the lavender, it had the raspberry peach cream and the raspberry peach peach cream and raspberry cream with the all and almond cream. It's a really good scent. Smelled really good the first half performed, but then the last half it got really, really super puny wicks. One of the flames went out by itself and I had to relight it. The flames were majorly puny. I'd light it, the flame or I would cotton ball it, they would get higher, but then they would just get lower again real fast. And then that kind of affected the throw. It wasn't throwing as well and the scent kind of got like lost its luster a little bit. It wasn't quite as good because of those could because of the bad performance, the throw wasn't throwing out the scent quite as well. Now, I said in my review that Lavender Marshmallow, that got puny too, but the, it didn't really affect the throw with this one. It still smelled really good. This one, it kind of affected the throw a little bit when it got to the halfway point. It just wasn't quite as good as it was. That first half was amazing. The second half just got kind of eh, just kind of meh. So, yeah, I would still get it again though, even just for the first half of the burn. And like I said, I have another one, so maybe if it does the same thing, I might end up putting the second half on a uh, candle crock or onto my candle warmer. So that's it for the candles. Now I will move on to the wax melts. All right, so first we have Sensational's Cranberry Oatmeal Cookie. This one was good. Just a bakery oatmeal cookie scent with a little bit of like a cranberry fruit kind of a note with it. Um, it did well. I liked it through really well. Next we have Winter Sleigh Ride from Better Homes and Gardens. This one's been out before and I've had it before. It's nice. It's very similar to Winter from Bath and Body Works. It's just got that pine and kind of that um, slightly bit of like orange kind of a, a citrus kind of scent with that pine kind of scent. It was good and throws well. We have this year, I believe this one's new, Firewood, Fir Bals Firewood and Fir Balsam from Better Homes and Gardens. This one was nice. It was just kind of a, the balsam mixed with like a fire smell, firewood type of smell. It was nice. Um, I think that one was just a little, it wasn't super strong though, it was a little subtle. I kind of wish it was a, would have been a little more stronger. Then we have Cypress and Frankincense from Better Homes and Gardens. That's also new this year. This one was okay. It kind of was a kind of frankincense-like and it's a little cypress, but not exactly like the frankincense, like say the frankincense that was in the White Barn uh, Bath and Body Works Essential Collection. It was a little different. This one was, wasn't really strong either, but it was okay. Next we have Sensational's Perfectly Pine. This has been out before and I think this was, I had this leftover from last year. I believe I had this leftover from last year. I think it was out this year too though. This one is so good. This one is amazing. It's just like the one of the best pine scents I've ever smelled. It's such a good pine scent. I mean, it's just total a Christmas tree with the pine, the pine needles and everything on there. It just it reminds me of Christmas when I was a kid and Christ, just pure Christmas tree. It's like super, super authentic. It's, it's amazing. I love that one. Next we have Ambi Scents. A Ambi Essence Snowball do Snowball Donut Holes. I got this from my mom for Christmas. This one was really good. It's just a bakery cinnamon. It's definitely cinnamon, but with like a bakery note in there as well. Really good. It was really strong. I have another one of those too. And then I have some from, this one is from Thomas. He sent us these wax melts. I have it written on here so I won't forget. This is Eggnog from Scentsy. This one was pretty good. It doesn't smell on cold when I'm smelling the package like it did. And when it melted, it did a lot better. It definitely was pretty authentic to eggnog. This is pretty, pretty close authentic eggnog scent. If you're looking pretty for a really authentic eggnog scent, this one was pretty good. Maybe not 100% authentic like, but it was, it came pretty close. Yeah, really nice. Not too, uh, not bake or anything, just like a really nice creamy, eggnoggy, slightly the spices, they're an eggnog kind of. Yeah, it was nice. Um, it was strong, it didn't last a long time though. It kind of died out pretty quick though, but it was really good when it when it lasted for probably about four or five hours or so. 
Next we have some more scent seeds, and I don't remember if, I can't remember if Thomas sent these to me versus, I think somebody else. We had a lot of people that sent us stuff over the last few months, and I can't remember if, I'm thinking somebody else sent me some of these. I didn't write the name on these, so I'm sorry if you sent these to me. Christmas Cottage is the next scentsy one. This one was good. Just uh, This was basically just a cinnamon scent. Very snowy spruce. This one, basically just a spruce scent. Spruce, pine kind of scent. That was nice. Next we have Peppermint Rush from Scentsy. This one I really liked. This one is peppermint, but it's also spearmint too. It's almost like spearmint and peppermint mixed together. But it was really good and really strong. It was really nice. And then we have American Home by Yankee Candle. This is sparkling cinnamon spice. And this I didn't this was sent to us from a subscriber as well. I did not write on the back who it was. I'm sorry. I need to start doing that so I won't forget who sent me what. This one, um, just sparkling cinnamon, all what it is. It's just cinnamon. It smells good, but I was surprised this one wasn't very strong though. Um, I had it burning in my melters, but I didn't get much of a throw from it, which is really, really weird because usually the Yankee uh, melts like this, the American Home ones, do pretty well, and I thought for sure cinnamon would, but it was pretty light. I didn't get much throw from that. That really surprised me on that one. Next, we have Spiced Apple Toddy from Bath & Body Works. Wax melt. This is good. It's just, um, it's very similar to, it's leaves, but like a little bit more than leaves. Um, it's nice. I, I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. It is very similar to leaves though, but I do like leaves. Then we have winter candy apple and y'all know what winter candy apple smells like. Just a sugary candy body care kind of apple scent. Um, um, I like it though. I don't, um, I don't melt this all the time or burn these candles, but every once in a while I can handle some winter candy apple. It was nice for a change. I don't hate that scent, but it's not my favorite in the world, but I don't hate it. Oh, we've got two more here. And then a few uh, little vendor wax melts. We have Times Gingerbread. Let me show you that close up. That's Times Gingerbread. It's the brand Times. They make some different products. They have hand soaps and wax melts and some candles and things like that. My mom got these for me. She got these at a hair place where she gets hair product. I think it's called Beauty First where she lives. They had this and then the candle. They had some hand soap and lotion and things and room sprays of this scent. This is so good. This was amazing. I would love, I was stuck up on these wax melts because they were amazing. Uh, it's not like your typical gingerbread. It's not a bakery gingerbread or anything like that. It does have like a little bit of the spice of a gingerbread, but it's different. It's almost more like a incense-y, like men's cologne, like a really nice men's cologne, but not like, like certain scents are cologne-y. It's not really like that, but it's more like a incense-y cologne kind of scent. Really good. It kind of reminds me of something like you would smell in like World Market, kind of earthy incense-y kind of. Oh, it's so good though. Really good. Um, yeah, so good. They lasted for longer. They had, they were just round, little round discs in here. These lasted for quite a while though. They lingered on about five days in my melters. That was amazing too. I think these are a little more expensive. If, if you get them online, I think these can be like six dollars or so, five to six dollars for these little wax melts. But they're so good and they do last longer, like I said, almost five to six days. So that's really good. And uh, she also gave me a little candle on that and I'm at, currently burning that so I will uh, let you know how that performed once I finish that up probably in next month's empties video and then we have just I have some empties from JD sensations I did a haul she does wax melts I really like her wax melts she sent me a whole bunch of wax melts so I will just go over real quick here mistletoe magic that was good just kind of a, a balsamy kind of scent jingle berry wreath friends that was good kind of a um, also kind of a balsamy with like berries in there. Gingerbread Friends, that was really good with like a gingerbread scent. Sparkling Blue Sugar Snowflake, that was nice, kind of a snowflake, um, sugary kind of a scent with a kind of an icy sugariness. Winter Chill, I had two of those. That was good, just kind of a icy winter type of scent. Jack Frost Glistening Snow. 
Uh, that was good as well. That was kind of an icy snow as well. Um, <clears throat> these were good. Some of these are really good, and some of them, um, a few of these kind of didn't last quite as long as some of the ones she's had before. And some of those icy ones, they, they kind of died out a little quick, but I did really like the scent of them. Cinnamon Kids, that's just a cinnamon scent. That was nice. Candy Cane Tarts is a nice candy cane scent. Cranberry Tart, Cranberry Cherry Tart. Just cranberry and cherry, and then winter candy apple. That was good. That's just uh, very similar to uh, winter candy apple from Bath and Body Works. So yes, JD Sensations. I recommend her. They're really good. Check out her website at jdsensations.com. Then we have two wallflowers, spiced graham cracker. That one it did pretty good. I actually had it in one of my wallflowers that I had, and then I couldn't smell it anymore. But then I realized it wasn't going down at all and the wallflower had quit working. So I took it back and I swapped it out for a different wallflower. They'll let you do that. If you have a wallflower that quits working on you, take it back and they'll just let you even it, swap it out. That's what I did and then um, put it in my new wallflower and then it totally kicked in and actually did really well. It threw way better than the candle did for me. The candle was super light, but this spiced graham cracker wallflower, it did pretty good. It wasn't amazingly strong, like really, really strong, but it, I definitely smelled it in the bathroom and I really liked it, it did really well. And we have Twisted Peppermint. I have this in the hallway bathroom in here. This one I was disappointed with. I could barely smell this one. For Twisted Peppermint, this had hardly any throw. I mean, Twisted Peppermint is usually super strong. But this Wallflower, I didn't get much of anything out of that. Just just barely a little bit, of it, and then in the rest of the way, nothing at all. So I don't know what happened with that. All right, and then lastly, we have some hand soaps real quick here. We have Coconut Mint Drop. This one's good. It's just mint, pet like peppermint, and then like a coconut. Coconut and peppermint is kind of what I got from this a little bit. It was good. I enjoyed that one. Next we have cinnamon caramel swirl. This one's just, just like caramel and cinnamon. <laughs> Very similar to the candle. Caramel, cinnamon, brown sugar. It was really good. Next we have winter cypress. And this is just... Cypress, but then like rosemary, slight bit of like eucalyptus. Mm, yeah, that was good too. I, I really enjoyed that one. Then we have iced eucalyptus. And this one was just eucalyptus. Kind of a eucalyptus, a little musky kind of. It was pretty good. I didn't like it as well as the other ones, but it was, it was all right. And then lastly, we have toasted vanilla chai. This one was pretty good. It was okay. Just basically kind of a vanilla, kind of your typical vanilla scents from in the hand soaps. Vanilla, brown sugar, kind of a slight bit of caramelness in there, but um, it was okay. I preferred the uh, cinnamon caramel swirl over this one, but it wasn't too bad. All right, so that is it for my empties video for the month of December. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.